Hello, Keith Ruck here at BenjaMachinery.org. Had a quick little lathe project I'm working on today, and I thought you guys might enjoy seeing this. Probably throw it up as a money um, short machining video uh, uh, for you guys to see. But what I'm working on are, are eight of these little parts right here. And uh, what this is going to be is this is going to be a leveling foot uh, to go up underneath my LeBlanc lathe that I'm working on restoring. And so there's some uh, big uh, leveling screws that go in. There's eight of them that go in, in the feet of the lathe. And you can use that to level the lathe up. And what I want to do is actually put these under those screws. And I want to do that for two reasons. Number one, you know, with a leveling screw, you got just a very small area that is contacting the floor. Uh, just the tip of that screw because uh, they're kind of pointed on the ends and um, That's putting a lot of weight in a very small area with this. I'm using some two-inch stock So basically I'm spreading that weight out over a much larger uh, Surface area on my floor which will give me more support and uh, the second thing that it's doing is I'm making them about three inches tall And what that will do is it will help me raise the lathe up about three inches higher off the floor right now It's just a little bit short uh, for to be comfortable for me to use it. So um, kind of dual purpose. Um, I'm making these out of just some scrap steel, nothing special. Uh, the, the dimensions on them really aren't that critical. We're just basically cleaning up the outside. I don't care what diameter it is. Uh, even the length isn't that important because we'll have the screws under each one of them uh, that we can adjust. They just need to be close. So anyway, let's go over and lathe and get these knocked out. Again, I'm working with two inch material. This is old rusty stock. It's, uh, you know, it's got some pitting and stuff in it. I'm not worried about the outside diameter, uh, but I do want to clean these up. And uh, I really would like to get it all in one chucking uh, and not have to flip it around to do that. But because I'm putting that taper on one side and that's about three quarters of an inch, I'm just gripping it and letting it stick out. And uh, this is basically will become the side that's tapered in the next step when I flip it around. Uh, so you can kind of see how I'm starting. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here, we'll face the bottom of this. And again, I'm just going to turn it up, just turn it on the outside just enough uh, to clean up that rust and pitting. Touch off on that side and put a little bit of oil on there and we'll face the uh, bottom off. Got to clean that up. I have to make another pass. I see just a little bit of a skip in there, but we're, like I said, we're just barely taking off enough to clean it up. We got a little bit right in there. Take off just a little bit more. Just put a little chamfer on the bottom. I have my carriage set to, or my compound set to 60 degrees for that uh, taper on the other side. So uh, just take advantage of that set up while I'm in there. So now I'm going to come in here and I'll flip the part around and we'll work the other side. So on this side uh, I'm going to come in here and face it off and we're going to cut that angle. Uh, again I've got my compound set to 60 degrees and uh, we'll just cut it by hand using the compound.
using my compound and feeding in with the cross slide on each cut. And we're just nibbling away at that uh, angle. You can zoom me out where you can see it a little better. So again, you see the compound out here. And instead of using a power feed, I'm just feeding this by hand. And then I'll come in with the uh, cross slide. That takes my next cut a little bit deeper. And uh, we'll just continue doing this. Step I want to do is put a little dimple in the end for that set screw to go into. But because of the way I have my compound set with this angle back here, I really can't get in behind it with a drill. So I'm going to go ahead and make all these and I'll come back at the end and we'll do another setup and just, uh, like I said, just put a little uh, dimple there for that set screw to go on. I've got my eight feet made now. And uh, again, the last step here is I just want to go ahead and put a little dimple in the top that that set screw can go down in. It's going to be a three quarter inch set screw, so I'm actually using a three quarter inch drill here. And uh, we're just going to basically go to the, little, the outside diameter is just cutting and cut off there. There we go guys, that's the uh, finished product. All eight of them, uh, four for the front, four for the back. And again, that little set screw will fit right down that dimple and hopefully that'll spread out the uh, contact on the floor a little bit more than just the point of that set screw and raise it up a little bit uh, to make it easier to operate. Well, that was a little quickie project. Hope you enjoyed, I got to see a little bit of lathe action. And uh, now that we got this done, we can get along to uh, the next big step on the Monarch lathe, one of the next steps, which is getting the lathe all leveled. And we'll be using the leveling screws in these feet uh, to get the lathe actually level on the ground uh, for when we start putting it all back together. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.